The alignment of learning outcomes, assessment, and activities is an extremely important part of the ADL program. And in each course in the Start Here section, you will um, be able to view the course learning outcomes for that particular course. We use Fink's taxonomy and his three column table approach to display the alignment of learning outcomes assessment and activities. This page will display the course goal, which is a single statement identifying what the learner will have been able to create or do and develop by the end of the course. And then that major goal, which we also refer to as big, hairy, audacious goal, is broken down into learning outcomes, assessment and activities in the three column table. There are foundational application, integration, human dimension, and learning how to learn uh, categories within this three column table. We will be explaining this three column table in greater detail and you will get to build one of these in the learn, learning design course EDLD 5313. But for now I'm just going to give you a, a simple overview. I'm using EDLD 5305, the innovation course, as an example for this three column table approach, which is used in every course in the ADL program. Um, and so it's important to understand that with the learning outcomes, the key perspective is that as the learner, you will be creating something. In this innovation course, you're going to be creating an innovation plan. This is an authentic learning activity or authentic learning opportunity that you get to create something that you can use in the real world. And to build that plan, you will develop an innovation proposal as your foundational activity. You'll develop a literature review. Uh, you'll look at case studies and development implementation outline and so on and so forth. You will see that in the three column table approach that we use here, you are taking a bigger, broader, big, hairy, audacious goal, breaking it down into smaller learning outcomes that will help you to build and to develop an actual component of your final innovation project that you will develop over the course of the ADL program. Before we go any further, it's going to be important to explain the difference between competency-based education and outcomes-based education. We are using outcomes-based education in the ADL program, um, and it's based on the notion of using authentic real-world assessments as part of the COVA framework, where we give you choice, we give you ownership, we help you to find your voice as you work on real-world authentic projects. So the ADL program and each of the courses of the ADL program, you'll be working on something that is real. This is uh, different than competency-based instruction, which is focused on skills, information, and uh, the development of, of knowledge. Now, the competency-based education plays a role in outcomes-based education in the sense that these competencies, which um, happen at the lower levels of thinking here, um, are something that you will develop as you go along and develop your authentic real-world projects. Competency-based education focuses on application, understanding, and remembering, which is something you're going to do within the context of creating and evaluating and analyzing ideas to help you build a real-world innovation project or plan as you're going along. We go into much greater uh, detail looking at higher order thinking and how higher order thinking um, helps you take ownership of your learning. And um, I will give you a link to this particular article and blog post where we explore these details in, in great in a greater context. This is something you're going to be doing in future courses, EDLD 5313, but it doesn't hurt to get a context of what you're doing right now. So it's really important to remember that with higher order thinking or the move to higher order thinking, the um, analysis evaluation um, that you're going to do is part of deeper learning, which is what we would uh, point to as part of the learner's mindset. So you're going to have an opportunity to go into this into much greater detail. But all the courses within the ADL program use this higher order level of thinking through the outcomes-based uh, instruction or education, which has a focus on authentic learning opportunities. So to confirm, you will see this three column table in each of the courses in the start section of the course or start here section in the um, learning outcomes um, section. Now, this is the overall three column table for the whole course. We will take components of this table and share that component in each of the modules of the course, as you will see in this example. So as you go into the course, 
and you move into the course modules, in each of the modules, which we've broken into weeks uh, in terms of how you'll be working through these ideas, um, each of the modules has a learning out outcome at the very beginning of the particular module or weeks. And we repeat the course uh, Big Hairy Dacious Goal, and then the uh, module outcome or goal for that particular module is stated in the same fashion as you saw with the three column table. But this will be uh, a very specific outcome related to this particular activity that you're going to be engaged in um, at this point in the course. So each of the modules or each of the weeks have different learning outcomes that will help you align your outcomes with your assess assessments and your activities and give you a clear focus on what you will need to do and why it's going to be important and what you will be able to accomplish. It will also be important to note that in some of the modules or in some of the weeks, you will have multiple learning outcomes that will be um, part of that particular uh, module or activity in, in those weeks. Because you're working on authentic learning opportunities or real world projects, there is going to be an overlap with outcomes, assessment and activities. And a lot of your assessments are going to be repeated and quite often there might be one or two or three perhaps one big um, uh, assessment that you're working towards, which will be realized in the final week of the course as a final compilation post that will point to either a, an innovation plan or an organizational change strategy or a significant learning environment plan. Each of the courses will have a big uh, component that you will create that will be part of your overall innovation um, planning process. We trust that the explanation of the alignment of outcomes, assessment, and activities will help you understand how you can be successful in these individual courses that will contribute to your success in the ADL program.